Oh yeah, you got all the all the apartment, Sean. Is that bad? No, it's good. Okay. <gasps> I've never done a video with you. Well, I did, but anyway. Welcome back you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for checking out this video. As you see, because you can read by the title, this is a vegan taste test video. I have the lovely boyfriend here with me today. I don't know if you guys have formally met him. It's hot because it's just hot here in LA. Yeah. And I just like threw this on him as he was walking in the house. I was like, you want to shoot this video with me? So I literally just walked in the store like two minutes ago. <laughs> So we appreciate him being here. Do you want to introduce yourself? My name's Ryan. Um, yeah, that's about it. This is Ryan. This is my boyfriend. We've been together for about three years. Sums and it up. Yeah, we're going to do a vegan taste test. So I just got a few items. I went to Whole Foods. My goal was to spend $20 and just get as much vegan junk food as I could. Um, so we're just going to jump right in. What do you want to do first? I got to show him Judy. Oh, he wants to show you, show you guys Judy. What about Shandy? So you be, he just be playing our cat. So this is the lovely Judy. She was in another one of my videos. I think my two videos ago, I featured, well, Judy's made features throughout. Okay. But this is the lovely Judy. So, what do you want to eat first? It's going to be probably a really quick video just because I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six things. And my goal was to spend 20 bucks, but I spent 23. So... Vegan food, you know, obviously healthier food is more expensive, but then vegan as well is just a little bit more expensive. I think I want to jump into these because they are calling my name. So these are the Earth Balance Vegan Cheddar Flavor Squares. Basically a cheese it And we gonna see how it tastes. Got dinner cooked for me when I walked in the door, so this is nice. Not I'll really, eat whatever. It's not really cooked, but okay. There. Honest opinions. No. No. We can't eat that because it's got cheese in it. It's vegan. It says vegan oh, yeah. cheddar squares. Oh yeah, these are good. These are them little, uh, mm. what are they? These are, oh my gosh. Little Ritz, Ritz crackery things? No, these are like Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its, that's what I'm thinking of. These are so good. Oh my gosh. This is bad. This is bad how good they taste. Did you have one? I mean, we've already offered it to her. All right, <laughs> so these are our win. Um, hold on. They're good? Good mama? I'm gonna tell you guys what each thing costs. Um, sorry. I, no, would, I would pay up to $6 for up something to six. like that. What do you think this costs? $5.99. $5.99. So the vegan cheeses or the vegan tartars were $3.99 for these. What? Yes. I overbid. All right. Next, we're gonna try the jalapeno lime chips, corn chips. They're by the brand Late July. I heard these taste like the uh, Doritos, the Ranch Cool Ranch, and I used to, man, that used to be my flavor, but they ain't vegan, so I'm gonna need a vegan substitute. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, this reminds me of the food that I was eating like six years ago. Yeah, this reminds me of... Doritos. It's little, yeah, it's like a little bit spicier, but this tastes like the Cool Ranch flavor. No, I, I really... No. Why? They're good, but... All right. <laughs> this guy loves tortilla chips, so how could you play them like that? How could you say no? How much do you think these cost? $3.99. This says $3.99. Late July, $3.29. I'm paying too much. 
Which stores and weird stores are you shopping at? This is Whole Foods. Hmm. Mm. I got them burning up in here. I'm sorry. The oven's on. We're cooking. The oven's on. It's the middle of June in California. Okay. And all the doors and windows are closed. Not really. Stop lying. That's a lie. I wish that door was open. It's going by quick. We have a few more items. Judy, already? So, I saw this in the bakery. Oh, it's a blueberry donut. So, I love donuts. Why not give it a try? No, ladies first. I didn't love donuts until I met her, and she's got me getting donuts every weekend. Bomb. What is going on? What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is bomb. So good. Mm. What do you think it costs? 99 cents. 99 cents. Well, I've been going high the last two times. One forty-five, a dollar forty-five. I'm pretty good. But now, is that a cake donut or a raised donut? This is a cake donut, which I normally. She just taught me what what the difference is. I... This is a cake donut, which I normally don't do because I like raised donuts. Cake donuts are more old-fashioned, and they are a lot more bready. They have a lot more filling in it. And raised donuts, oh. We literally just ate this whole thing. And raised donuts are just more airy and chewy, which I prefer. Okay, moving on. Mm. Dark chocolate peanut gems by the brand Unreal. To me, they look like uh, M&M's and... But they're called peanut gems. I guess. But yeah, let's give it a shot. One. Uh, yeah, that's an M&M. Yep, yeah, that tastes just like an M&M. Oh my gosh. This is the thing that drives me crazy. You pick up every box, every can, that, everything at a store, and it says milk, eggs, milk, eggs. No, thanks. You can, you can literally make all of this stuff without cows and chickens. Why do you gotta put cows and chickens in everything? Exactly. This is as good, if not better than what you grew up with. And I made a point to get foods or junk food that actually said vegan on it because I know a lot of things like PETA has a list out there for all the accidental vegan products. So brands that made foods that just so happened to accidentally be vegan. But I wanted to support the movement and find foods that actually were labeled vegan. So that's why I have the certain pieces that we have today. Next, I'm really excited about these. They are the Surf Sweets Organic Fruity Bears. No synthetic colors, naturally flavored, vegan. Oh my gosh, vegan gummy bears, what? Ooh, they might have like sugar on them. Oh, they're like, uh, no. You have to, it's. I'm not a big. I know, he's not a big sweets eater or candy, shall I say, but I am, so. I could do without the sugar, the extra sugar on top, but I like them. I mean, the difference between most of um, the gummy bears that aren't vegan is that they have gelatin. So the fact that you can make a gummy bear without the gelatin, I don't know why all brands just don't make that switch. Um, I just don't do sugar. I'll, I'll take it naturally occurring in fruit or or, or whatever. But I, when they refine it and they sprinkle it on this, and yeah, that. that's a little much. I just I thought it was just gonna be a plain gummy bear, but because it doesn't say extra sugar, mm. <laughs> why would it? But they're still good. Could be vegan. If I wouldn't feed it to my dog, I'm not, I'm not going to buy it. You wouldn't feed it to your dog, but she would eat it. She'd eat anything. And then regret it later. That's what's wow. different between us. That went quick. So the next thing, the last thing, is the Gardein Pizza Pocket Ooh. Pepperoni. To me, these look like Hot Pockets. Hot Pockets. Hot Pocket. 
So, they're in the oven, which is why it's another reason why it's hot. I'm ready. So I'm gonna go grab them and we're gonna see how they taste. Yeah. What? Mods mozzarella. One thing you need to know about Natalie is that she says mods mozzarella like it's a car. Mozzarella. Maz. No, you don't. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. She says mozzarella. Mozzarella. She puts D's in no, random words for no reason. Mozzarella. Do you have mozzarella? Say Colorado. 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 Cala. Cala. Hala. Can I holla for Colorado dollar? My point. My point. My point is that I can see that. Oh, can you guys see him? Mmm. It's probably gonna be out of focus that far. And they're really hot because they fresh out the oven. All right. Are they hot? Hot? Are they yeah. hot? Hot? They're really hot. Pockets. Do you want to tell them something funny? Like what? I don't know. He's a funny guy. Or we need a second for those to cool down. Don't get camera shy now. You guys, I cut his hair. Whether you're on camera. He had really long hair. Give him a side view. Give him a side profile. Turn that way. Now turn the other way. Yes. So I cut his hair. He lets me do everything now. I'm a printer by trade. Oh, look at Judy. She's like. I'm a printer by trade. And half the model pictures, the male models, they all have the same pose. It's this. Really? Because they're trying to. I don't know, it's just, it does something to the ladies. It's like, does it? I think it might do something. Camera, stop recording us. Did you see this? All right. You know, now I kind of wish that I got more stuff because this video went by really fast. One, two, three, four, five, six things. That's a pretty good Oh, wait. You didn't tell me how much you thought these were. I'm going to say a dollar... This whole bag. I don't know. Seven nine seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. Good about this. The peanut M&M chocolate M&M. Yeah. <laughs> the unreal m and I keep on calling them M&Ms because that's what they taste like. They were five ninety nine. Woo! Got a good deal. Okay, there. what about the Surf Sweet gummy bears? 39 cents. 39 cents? Oh my gosh, you're like playing these well, companies. They covered them in sugar. They're $2.29. Must not have wanted to sell them. All right. So. All right. Let's try. They're too hot. Woo! That's hot. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it looks like real pepperoni too inside. Hot Pockets will always make me think of Saturday morning cartoons. Why I was eating Hot Pockets at 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe because I had to cook for myself as a boy. Oh, it's, it's really hot, but it's really, really, really good. And they are by the brand Gardein. So it is the Garden Meatless Pepperoni Pizza Pockets. How much? Oh, you haven't tried it yet. You have to try it. But it's pretty hot. I know, but look at Judy on some. Yeah, that's one of those Fuji go go. It's so good that you like you don't want to spin it out because how hot it is, but. Man, that's pretty hot. But I also just took them out of the oven. Um, you like them? Yeah? How What's much that do you taste think? Like? like a pepperoni hot pocket? You know, pepperoni hot pockets got me through college. Definitely. Those were like what I actually. Anything that's about this big that can be microwaved got a lot of people through college. <laughs> Could be a burrito. <laughs> well, no. I had. Pepperoni hot pockets, also the four cheese hot pocket. And then I used to think I used to go to Rouse and they used to sell like a big 12 pack or something or 15 pack for $9.89. So, yep, that was college life. All right, babe, what do you think that costs? <laughs>
<laughs> oh, is that is that her trying to say give me some or I'm gonna keep sneezing? Yep. All right, what do you think that costs, babe? Four forty nine. Four forty nine. Five ninety nine. They cost five ninety nine. All right, you guys. Haul. Pretty good haul. Yeah, that was a pretty small haul. But I still spent $23 on junk food. Um, I liked it. Yeah, I liked it. So the truth is about to set. We about to probably t take off our clothes and Whoa. sit around, oh, yeah. put something on the projector, and then just kind of eat this. Um, it was literally spare of the moment. I heard about these, these uh, vegan cheddar squares, and I really wanted to go try them, so I was headed to the store, and I thought, let me just get a couple stuff, and then just make a video, and like, I just caught him as he was walking through the door as he got home, Yeah. I had fun, I had fun, I kind of wish that we just had like, more for you guys, so let me know how you guys like this video, uh, comment below what you guys want me to try next, I was thinking about doing like a, who makes the best vegan I thought she was going to sneeze. Who's going to make the the best vegan mac and cheese? What brand? So I think that's going to be the next video. Wouldn't that be fun? Like just mm -hmm. like making all those brands of yeah. mac and cheese and then see who makes the best. Um, I feel like I'm going to be eating really, really well the next few weeks. Maybe. Thanks to you guys, I walked in the front door from getting home from work and I had a sort of meal prepared for me. That was nice. Yeah. So we can plan it. For around this time every day, I think we're going to have some fun. <laughs> when you get home. Uh, Judy, did you like the video, Mama? Alright, you guys. Like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys next video. <laughs>